My name is Jen Chow and I'm a server at Ch Chickies and Peds at Chop. So as part of my uniform, I have to have my hair up and off my shoulders. We also have our Chickies and Peds t-shirt, has the logo here, and on the back has the little crab on it. And then we can wear a shirt under it. I'm wearing a black one. We're either allowed to wear red or black. And then we just have to wear black yoga pants and black non-slip shoes. And we also have to have our little book with our paper in it and the list of alcohol that we carry and also our micros card. Chickies and Pete's is a crab house and a sports bar. Well, for one, they're known for their crab fries and they're also known for their crabs because it's done what they call chicky style, so it's soaked in a garlic crab juice. It's pretty good. I think our most popular alcohol would probably be our specialty cocktails. Off of that would be like our Flying Hawaiian. It's a Malibu rum, pineapple, blue curacao, and melon liqueur drink. We also sell a lot of beer. When someone orders a rum and coke, I have to ask them what kind of rum they want. Like, do they want Bacardi, Captain, or Malibu? Because those cost in between a dollar and three dollars more per drink. If I don't ask that, they'll use just the standard rum. Same goes for vodka. I would say the target audience is a crowd between 19 and 30, because you get a lot of guys come in there, watch the game, they order beer towers. Our clientele at the Cheekies and Pete's in Atlantic City is kind of a mixture of both tourists and local people. For the tourists, you really have to explain the story behind Cheekies and Pete's, and you have to explain what it is, because it's based out of Philly. Then there are also the people who come from around the Philly area, they're like, oh, I know exactly what this is, and they know right off the bat what they want to order, and how everything's going to come. I would say the atmosphere, because if you haven't been to a Chickies and Pete's before, there are giant TV screens everywhere, so you can watch the game. They have multiple games going on, so there are different kinds of crowds cheering on every kind of game. Competitors would probably be Buffalo Wild Wings and Applebee's, because they're also kind of like a sports bar type of deal. The Chickies and Pete's at Tropicana is actually the only one with a raw bar, so we have raw oysters, raw clams, and we also have like seafood that is cold. It's cooked, but it's chilled. We also have a little section called Play 2, and they have like five different pods with one giant screen TV, and you can also hook up like your PS3, an Xbox, rock band, and you can rent out the little pods and people cater to you. When people actually get rowdy with the sports, because people get really excited, especially during the Eagles game and the Eagles score, everyone just kind of screams, and then the DJ plays a song that goes, E-A-T-L-E-S-E-R! Oh, the clientele that comes to Atlantic City sometimes. It's really bad. Last week when I worked, I had a table of five girls. Their bill was over $208. They left me five bucks. So they suck. Over the summer, yes. There have been times where I've been completely slammed. Especially if there's something big going on in Atlantic City. Like, for example, a couple weeks ago, there was a statewide wrestling tournament in D.C. Well, a lot of people, especially our age from Stockton, they like to go and do their little trap hop, and then they stop in Chickies and Pete's and have the drenchies and get the fries.